Hey, welcome to Azam Coding. I'm your host, Mohamed Azam, and this is another continuation of the MongoDB series. If you haven't checked out the last episode, then I highly recommend that you do so. In order to check out the last episode, all you need to do is to go to highoncoding.com, scroll down, the latest videos is Introduction to MongoDB Database. Check it out, it's awesome. Or if you are in a reading mode, then you can check out three articles I have written, Introduction to MongoDB Database, Persisting Hierarchical uh, Data Using MongoDB, and Implementing Business Objects to Document Converter. All these art articles uh, cover different topics related to MongoDB. My new article, which will be about ASP.NET MVC and MongoDB will be coming soon. So stay tuned for that. So in this one, in this particular screencast, I'm going to show you how you can interact with the MongoDB document database using C Sharp drivers. The first thing you need to do is to go to MongoDB website, which is mongodb.org. Click on the drivers, click on the C Sharp driver, go to the website or go to the GitHub. Now you can download it using uh, Git, or if you don't have Git, you can simply go to the downloads and download a zip file which will contain three DLLs. Simply download it, reference in your project just like I have done over here. These are the three DLLs and you're good to go. Um, in order to work with MongoDB, you need to start the MongoDB server. Not a big deal. Simply go to the command line and say MongoD. Now I can run my MongoD command because I have in my environment variables I have set uh, to the folder where the MongoDB was installed. So if you have not done that, you can simply go to environment variables and do that. Or if you know where this particular file is, mongod.exe, then go over there and simply run it. When you run it, it's going to start MongoDB server, which you can actually see. Now, um, one other thing, by default, MongoDB will look at your C drive data slash DB folder. So if you don't have this particular folder, I recommend that you create it, okay? It doesn't matter, it does not mean that you can, you cannot store your DB file or your schema file somewhere else and this is like hard-coded to C slash data dot DB. You can, but for starters, we'll just use a default path, okay, which is data C, data, and DB. So everything your database related will be stored or automatically created over here. Let's go ahead and create our first database. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is to connect to the MongoDB. So I'm just going to create Mongo and mongo.connect. Now this is a schema free database, okay? So if, and so there's no hard and fast rule or strict rules, strict policies of your database schema and you can simply create your schema on the go. So I'm just going to say, okay, I need a database, not win. Now the not win database does not really exist. So if it does not exist, it's going to be created. If it does exist, it's going to be returned. So in this case, if you go, the not win doesn't really exist. You can see not win too, but that's not not win, okay? So this will be created. And now I can simply say, okay, I need to create a table in it, or you can think of table as a collection. Okay, so I will just say, get me a collection, which name is categories. So you can think of it as a table if you're thinking of relational database terms, okay? Now collection, or the categories collection, as an insert method, that means that you are trying to insert something into this collection, into the categories collection. And the same thing applies to the get collection. If the categories does not exist, it will be created. If it does exist, it will be returned. So in this case, it will be created because we don't even have the not one database. So we're going to insert a document, okay? So I'm just gonna say document equal to new document. And what is document? Document is kind of like a dictionary key thing, okay? So I can say over here, okay, category, uh, well, let's say name, name sounds much better. So the category is, let's say, beverages, okay? And um, I don't know, price, maybe? 
uh, okay, yeah, price. Well, it doesn't really mean, doesn't, okay, so I'm just going to do category with the name because the price doesn't really make any sense, right? And then I'm going to say, okay, insert the document. Mongo.disconnect, run this. So let's run this and you'll see it's, uh, it just ran the console application. Let's go to our folder DB and you can actually see the note wind is actually being created now. Now, if you notice that the file size is like 65 uh, megabyte and 16 megabyte, this is because it contains all the collections, all the schemas and namespaces that you will be needing in your application. Okay, so this is like a default size. So you have inserted it. Uh, now you need to retrieve it. Okay, so I am just going to say, uh, comment out this code. And I'm just going to say, okay, category equal to categories dot find one. And then you will specify some spec that, okay, what does your category look like? So I'm going to say, and this is again a dictionary uh, value. So I can say, okay, my category name, the category that I'm looking at, the name was beverages, okay? And I'm going to say right line, category uh, name. So what we're doing over here is we're saying that, okay, categories is a collection and find one. I'm looking for one particular category uh, and the spec for that category is that the name was beverages. And then when you get the category, please print out the value for name, which should print out beverages. And you can actually see it does print out beverages and it did access the values. What about if you are doing multiple? So you can simply say find all and dot documents to convert it into a documents. Of course, in this case, we only have one, but if you have multiple, you can simply iterate through them and print out the value. You will need to know, okay, what field that you're looking for, what is that key, dictionary key. I'm a little bit running out of time, but you, I think you get the idea of how this will actually work. Okay, so it, it prints out only beverages because currently we only have beverages. So if I insert one more, uh, let me do that quickly. Uh, I'm just going to create over here and I am going to say, okay, um, condiments, okay? And everything looks okay. Just gonna go and insert that. Okay, and going to just wanted to show you that by using the find all method, you can actually get back all the documents that are in the database. And here we go. So we got beverages and we got condiments. We get two things together, all right? So this was the introduction to the MongoDB database using the C-sharp driver. I'm pretty sure that there are other drivers. Uh, I know Rob Condry and uh, Carl Sagan, uh, they are working on a very good C-sharp driver. So just stay tuned for that one. And um, that's pretty much it. And the last note is high on coding is always looking for donations. Uh, as you see, all these videos takes a lot of time to create and uh, at least 30 to 60 minutes uh, to create and then additional, I would say 15 minutes to convert it into HD quality. And then the, there is a bandwidth usage and so many other things. And like other website, we don't charge anything. Everything is free. Everything is for you. You can download it. You can download it on your Zoom. You can download it on your iPad, iPod, iPad, whatever you are using as, as your uh, device, a viewing device, uh, consuming device, basically. And you can use it over there. So if you do have a chance, please uh, show some love and donate a little bit of amount so that we can continue with our website and keep providing you with uh, great quality content. That's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much. Stay tuned for more videos on high on coding.